Hey, y'all fourth graders. I am here to help you out in getting through the last lesson in our book. We just reached Unit 5, located on page 12 and 13. We've got the pieces new way to play A and new note G, and I am starting front and center with the bass right here. So, first of all, there's two positions for bass. There's first position, that's where our fingers start right here. And then there's third position right here, moving up to this next set of tapes. So, first position is where our first finger is on that first tape. And then we shift the third position where our first finger is on this third tape. So, in New Way to Play A, the bass player begins on the D string in third position with our fourth finger on this one, two, three, fourth tape. This note plays A. It's the same A as this A on the G string. It's just in a different place. As a bass player, we like to be able to shift around and find lots of different ways to play the same note. So new way to play A from the beginning. A, A, rest, rest. A, 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 rest. Now you see that Roman numeral three, it looks like I, I, I. That's a symbol that means the position you play in. When you see Roman numeral one, just a single I, that's when we move back here. New note G, same idea. Third position, first finger on the third tape. This note plays G. This is the same G as your open G string. It's just a different way to play it. Rest, rest, rest. So for a bass player this week, we're learning this new position. third position. Now bass players, I want to give you a little preview of something that's coming up on page 16. We're going to start taking this knowledge of third position and our knowledge of first position and we're going to put it together in the same piece. So here's the piece bass shift. It starts in third position with fourth finger on the note A. This is all on the D string. A, A. Then it has that Roman numeral one a little dash and then the number four. That dash means shift and that four means fourth finger is pressed down on the string. F sharp, F sharp, then shift back up. Third position, fourth finger. A, 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 shift back. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. Bass hit is the same idea, it's just on a first finger now. Bass hit starts first finger, in third position on the note G, 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 shift back to first position, E, E, shift back to third position, shift back. Now, outside of the piece, you can just practice sliding along and shifting. At first, I wouldn't even worry about where you're stopping. Just get comfortable with sliding. It should be this smooth. If your hand's going like this, you might be squeezing. So let go of that thumb. It should just slide it along nice and gentle. If we're squeezing or pressing, that's when things get hard to shift. So make sure that you're sliding nice and comfortable. Violin and viola friends. The new note A and G this week and last week are a little tough to do because that fourth finger comes from our pinky power. The third finger is a little easier. Let me show you a few secrets on how to get that fourth finger in place. Secret number one, posture and position. Are you sitting up straight? It makes a big difference. When your body's like this, you can play so much more music and so much better. Number two, when you get the instrument up to your jaw, get it right up against your neck, as close as can be without hurting yourself. Nice and close, okay? This will not ever do, and certainly never go out of the chin like this. This is not how a violin player or viola player should play. Off to the side, 45 degrees, okay? Now, if you find it hard to read your music this way, I do too. So I turn my body, look down my instrument at my music. Who knew? Violin viola hacks. Now, next step. You've got it close to your body. You're sitting up well. The left hand and the left arm have to go like this. This is not easy at first. As a cello player, I found this really hard when I was 20 years old, starting to learn the violin for the first time. It took me years to get like this. So here's how you do it. You do jazz hands on your side, 
and you turn your hand as far as it can go and then fold at your elbow, you should be waving behind your, your head. And then bringing it up to our instrument. Look at how my pinky finger does not quite reach because my elbow is way over here. Here's the last secret. Swing that elbow underneath. Look how much easier my pinky finger can reach all of the strings right there. So, when we start playing new way to play A on page 12, first finger, D string, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, we should be playing the note with fourth finger on the D string. So when we play new way to play A, that goes four, four, rest, rest. You can always check it, make sure it's in the right place with your A string. And then new note G is one, two, three. Now, here's where it really comes together. Pump and iron is about switching between four and three. Pump iron number one. A, 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 switch to three. G, 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 put down four. A, A, G, G, A, A, A. Now, if that makes you tired, shake it out, give it a break. Dangle it down next to your side until you're feeling better. Come back to it another day. I guarantee you this will tire you out at first, and if you take frequent breaks, you will stay healthy as a musician. Keep coming back to it every day, because I know it's hard, but it does get easier with that P word. P-R-A-C-T-I-C-E. That spells practice. Cello players, this one's for you. On the page 12, when we learn the new note, new way to play A, and the new note G, things can get a little boring. So I'd like to challenge you to the next level. Here's the next level. When we put down our fourth finger for the note G, it looks like this, but check this out. The A string can still vibrate under the tunnel that our hand forms. Now here's a tunnel that's collapsed. Oh no, the A string can't vibrate. So make those fingers tall. Terrific, thank you, Mr. Travers. Here's my challenge to the cello players. When we play the piece New Way to Play A, or any other piece that uses A, we're going to engage the tall, terrific Traverse Tunnel. So for example, if I played New Way to Play A, I play it like this, fourth finger on the D string, but my plucker finger finds the A string. A, A, test my tunnel out. A, 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 keep testing. My tunnel's excellent. Then when you go on to new note G, you've just been practicing how to make a strong and tough fourth finger. Rest, rest. And by the way, cellos, our pinky finger's the weakest at first. It gets stronger with time. You should definitely practice some of these. Pinky taps into the string on the side of the cello. Anywhere you can. Every single day, I do it at least 20 times a day. 100 would be better. Mine makes a big sound because I've been practicing a lot in my life. Yours is probably going to do this. Okay? Now when you play, sometimes the sound sounds like this. That means we're not pressing deep enough in the string. Sink in there and it'll start to play like it rings. When you get to pump iron, here's how I play it. I engage my tunnel. I get my plucker finger ready and look how this hand doesn't have to move an inch. Didn't move. That's the power of the tunnel. That's why I want to upgrade you all to the next level. All right, that's for cellos.